Uh, we, you know, we played Texas Tech, who's one of the best in the country. We, our whole league, I think, is was really good defensively. If you looked at numbers, there was a point I think we had five in the top 15 or something that were in the top. So, uh, you know, it's 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 a more of a pack defense, very similar to Wisconsin. If and we played Wisconsin for many years at Illinois and that when I was at Purdue. So. Um, they they really protect. They got they're kind of old school with big guys, you know. Instead of the new modern basketball, play small ball. Coaches kind of stuck with the you know big guys and protecting that paint. They make you shoot uh, tough shots. They don't, they limit the layups and you know. So we I hope we can spread them out. Obviously it helps to make shots and you can spread people out more. But uh, we got to move the ball and move bodies to make sure they can't just sit in the lane. But tournament, tournament question for you. There's a guy out there that's known you since like elementary school. He came up here just to see you. What does it mean to you to have a life that you've had, to have the opportunities that you've had, and just, just to be where you're at right now when you know all these people still pull for you today? Uh, it's just, to me, it's unbelievable. You know, I uh, first thing I said in the press conference, just to be part of March Madness is so special. It's a, it's an honor. It's a privilege. I, I, I pinch myself all the time. Uh, I talk with my wife about all the experiences we've had as a, as, as a coach and, and a wife and a family. Family, our, our girls. I think one of my daughters is coming to the tournament, but uh, you know they all want to be here. You know, but now they got kids themselves. But uh, and and to me, it's more to watch the uh, the players and the new group uh, to be part of that. And and you know, we I kind of said earlier, you know, you know that's why you're sad for Dean because you grow up. I grew up watching tournaments, and this I go way back watching Kentucky playing Texas Western, and and you know then get. Goodrich and UCLA and you know those early ones Marquette Al McGuire uh, but that was your dream to be part of that and that you mimicked that you went out in your alley and shot baskets and talked about it and uh, you know I, I hope our guys appreciate and don't take it for granted it doesn't happen all the time make the most of the opportunity um, and and make sure you have that humility to realize that you're fortunate to be here and be part of it and represent K-State and a lot of people are watching you and proud of you how much has the extra five days of rest is I think it's I, I hope good you know, I think Xavier was the, the big one, uh, Cardi, to continue his conditioning. Uh, you know, it helps. And, and then we got to, you know, hopefully focus on some little things. We'll see how we execute tomorrow. Execution is, is really important. The preparation, execution, and obviously playing your butts off, playing your heart out, because that's what it's about. You like the confidence level of your team as opposed to last season's run where you didn't maybe – didn't know what's happening. You I think, weren't a favorite like you are this year. I, I, I don't know. I, I, everyone just told me we're supposed to lose tomorrow, so I, I don't know if. How can you say we're the favorite? I don't know. No one else thinks so. So, so seed wise, I guess. But last year we, it was eight nine, and you know it, it just then we ended up playing a sixteen. So I guess we were supposed to win. I don't know. It's, uh, you know, we our guys. Is, it's all the preparation. We play better when we have a fear factor. You know, that fear of losing, the fear of ending, uh, it seems like it's been that all way all year when uh, they know they have to get ready for an opponent. They respect the opponent. They got it. They match them, and they're ready for the challenge. So uh, we'll see how we do tomorrow. So you would okay, say guys, maybe you come off better off of a loss coming into the tournament? I, I, I don't I, – I would say yes. With our guys, yes. I think it helps them. It really does. I didn't want to lose. I never want to lose. But um, we've seen the react to losses pretty good all year because it, it, it's got our attention, kept us humble and hungry, and, and we've moved forward. Thank you, guys. Thank you. When you think of Barry, I know you said he's Thank one of you. your best leaders ever, but is he also one of your hardest workers you ever Yeah, I don't think there's – you know, Rodney Magruder, I'd text Rodney today, but – um, you know, there's there's certain guys that you know work so hard, and and he's taking it to a whole, whole nother level. It's just amazing the time he puts in, not even just on a court, but coming in the office, watching film, being around the staff, loving it. Be, he just appreciates it so much, and um, you know, just proud to be part of his life.